What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Carlos and this is Carlos' Fishing Adventure. Today we're gonna find out how to flush this motor properly because a lot of people have been asking me how do you flush the top part because everybody knows how to use the earmuffs and flush it through the foot. But nobody really knows how to use the connection up top. So I'm going to show you guys real quick. But first, if you guys could hit that like and subscribe button down below, it'll help me out tremendously. So yeah, stay tuned. All right, guys. First step you want to do is get your uh, earmuffs. Rinse them out because if you're like me, you like throw them on the ground when you're done. Uh, go ahead and connect your water hose to your earmuffs. Uh, remember, righty tidy, lefty loosey on the earmuffs. Remember the earmuffs are rectangle, the good ones anyways. Uh, make sure that rectangle is kind of like facing up and down. That way it covers all the holes in the foot. All right, go ahead and turn the water hose on and turn the motor on. Once you turn the motor on, make sure that the water is flowing correctly. Um, if it's not flowing strong at all, double check the earmuffs. Make sure they're tight, but you want a steady stream just like this right here. All right, and then you just have to wait five minutes and at the end of the video I'll tell you why you have to wait like five minutes All right after five minutes is up go ahead and turn your motor off and then turn your water hose off Disconnect the water hose from your uh, earmuffs all right, and then we're gonna move on to step two, the second way to flush the motor. All right, the same concept here, righty tighty lefty loosey to hook up on the motor. There is thread, so you can just hook your water hose to it. There's no attachment. And you wanna turn the water on, but not full weight, all the way, you know, full pressure. Just enough where water will flow down from the holes right there on the foot. And it'll also come out from the uh, propeller. You just leave it like that for like a minute, that way you could flush it both ways. So it's basically you're flushing it from the bottom and then you're gonna flush it from the top. All right guys, and also make sure don't open the water hose all the way. That's a big no-no. Just I wanna say halfway or a little bit less than halfway and go ahead and unscrew the water hose and you're done. You don't have to flush it like this every time, but every now and then it wouldn't hurt it. All right guys, and that is how you flush the motor properly uh, of the brand new Mercury. All right, so a lot of times the main reason uh, you have this connection is if you live on the water and you don't have a chance to take the boat out and you want to flush it, you could actually put the trim all the way up and flush it that way. But make sure the motor is hot. Uh, the reason the motor has to be hot is that way the thermostat would open up and you could actually do a proper flush. And then you can just leave the motor out of the water and leave it on the water for a couple days if you need to but yeah so if you guys like this video enjoyed it learned anything at all hit that like and subscribe button down below again it helps me out a lot and i'll see you guys next time